right. So I talk a lot about um, uh, kind of mental health and wellness, managing the big picture and allowing your dog to make some of the critical decisions about um, his own environment, his own health and well-being, um, including letting them learn how to self-regulate their body weight, their hunger levels. And I think if we're always micromanaging their food, they don't learn how to do this. They don't learn how to say, oh, I feel kind of full. So what I'm going to show you today is kind of the, the you know, one of the ways of allowing your dog to make some of those choices and make them in a healthy way. What I've got here on my right is a topple filled with some lovely canned dog food. Uh, it's something that Ajax likes a whole bunch. On my left, I've got this, uh, a, a, a bunch of really high value kibble. This is Origin. He, again, he likes it. He'll eat it dry, straight out of the bowl. And then um, you're going to see my floor, which is a mess right now. And then over here I have, you know, this is his regular dog food container. And this is a lower value kibble that he kind of sort of might sometimes rather go hungry than eat. Um, but but he'll eat it. He, he eats it just fine if he's not getting all of these other lovely things. But I want him to be self-entertained. I want him to have the fun things in life. I want him to enjoy a little bit of different flavors and textures and things like that. I want him to be happy. So what I'm going to do here is he's got this boring kibble in the bowl. Now, I'm not going to put enough in there so that there's any remaining. When he's done eating breakfast, the bowl will get picked up. There's two reasons for that. One is, is because if it's out all the time, it's he's just going to get bored. But the other reason is because I have dogs with allergies. So if I leave this dish out and one of my other dogs happens to get into the room, I've blown it for them for like three or four weeks. So lots of reasons to do it this way. But mental health and wellness for Ajax is super critical. As you might have noticed, he's showing some signs of boredom and a little bit of anxiety here. He's got his toys, but he's starting to rip up his bed. He's feeling lonely. So I need to up my game in terms of entertainment. One of the ways that I have of doing that is with food. Um, so the high value kibble is going to get scattered on the floor. Um, and so he can come and clean that up. Now, a lot of dogs don't know how to eat a kibble scatter in the beginning. So you do have to teach it. And that, you know, I often just toss a single kibble and toss another kibble and toss another kibble. And that motion gets them excited about it. And they'll reach in and they'll eat it. And then they'll say, oh, that's not bad. And they'll start searching and eating. I'm going to bring Ajax in here in a minute and do that. But what I'm actually going to start out with um, this time, and I don't do it this way every time, but because I'm occupied doing other things, I'm going to give him his topple first, and then I'm going to let him clean up the kibble scatter on the floor. It's all going to be self-serve because I've got other things to do. And when he's finished with the kibble scatter on the floor, he can go and he can top off with this bowl of food. So this is actually going to start his Pavlovian response and his digestive system going. And once he starts on the high value stuff, he's going to get hungrier. And he then he's going to need all of these other things to make him satisfied. Now, I could do it the other way around. If I could start out with the kibble toss and then go to the bowl. But I would never start with the bowl and go to the kibble toss of the high value stuff because what I want him to do is I want him to be excited and engaged and happy, but then I want him to feel sated. And I don't want a really high value food causing him to overeat, right? If you're eating, uh, I don't know, you know, one of my favorites, chocolate mousse, if you're eating a really good chocolate mousse, you might have a bite or two more than you would normally 
just to just to feel full and satisfied and that's going to cause you to get fat over time i want him to self-regulate so he's going to get the high value stuff first and then he's going to transfer over to the lower value stuff so there you have it a really simple straightforward entertaining way for ajax to get his dinner but also to learn how to self-regulate quantities so if you have a dog who doesn't self-regulate well this is a really good approach. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, kip, the topple there because I want him to just come in through that door and come in and find this wonderful thing so I can go out and get other things done. Not optimal from social uh, standpoint. This dog needs more of my time, but I will come in later and give him that engagement and that interaction. So there you go, a great way to help your dog learn how to self-regulate caloric intake. Have a good day guys. Make sure to uh, like, share, definitely share. Share on the DT101 page, share with your friends. I want this information out there for you guys. It's free. Go for it. Help your dogs attain their happiest state. All right. Have a great day.